Hello and welcome home again to another edition of Teaching of Smart Board, hosted by myself, Scott Miller, and David Slatke. Dave, we're back at it again. Yes, we are. Template Q. Template Q. Happy summer vacation to you. Yeah, we're out. Out that's, of school. That's right. Uh, you can reach us if you want to at smartboardguys at teachingwithsmartboard.com. Mm -hmm. And we're, we're on episode number... Looks like 73. 73. All what right. in the world is that, Scott? That, that looks like a fishing boat, Dave. I think that's oh, it is that. a fishing boat. That's right. Nice. Mm -hmm. So we With can't... antennas. Yeah. <laughs> That's actually rigging for the netting. Is oh, what okay. That is. So uh, you can grab this particular podcast and other ones and all of our resources at teachingwithsmartboard.com. Uh, or the best way you said was... iTunes. That's right. You can subscribe, subscribe there. Subscribe to iTunes. I'm having a riot right now, right. Scott. I am too. We, where are we? Well, we're usually in Chicago, but we're not in Chicago We're not today. in Chicago now. No, we're not. Yeah. We're actually have taken a trip... To Cordova, Alaska. Yeah, we are all the here way up here. In Cordova now. That's right. The reason I'm laughing is we are actually in Anchorage, Alaska. At the airport? At the airport. Uh -huh. And we have these cleaners going up and down the... Uh, <laughs> the basically, the, the hallway the that we've got here. And they're, the, like, dueling each other. Yeah, one guy's doing the, the floor. One guy's cleaning the carpet. So, yeah, it's, hopefully, it's, you can hear us. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. All right. Yeah. So... We went to Cordova for some training for the wonderful people in Cordova, Alaska. That's right. Uh, we had one of our subscribers actually had listened to us and contacted us, and they asked us to come out and do some professional development training here. So as you can see here, this is Cordova, Alaska. Yes. Thanks, Mary. Oh, thank you very much, Mary. It's a uh, just a beautiful it is wonderful city. Uh, seaside town. Uh, it's a fishing village. Mm -hmm. um, and about 3,000 people that's there. That's right. That's right. And see. the people are just wonderful. Oh, just very welcoming, very open, giving people. Um, it was it was a special week. And, yeah. Uh, we're, we're thankful to be able to get there. That's right. And as you can see down here, here's the high school uh, mm -hmm. that we went to to uh, work with people there. But it wasn't just people at the high school. It was people that were also there. Uh, from the elementary school mm -hmm. uh, and, and their middle school. And from another village. That's right, Yakutat. Yakutat. Yeah. And uh, just wonderful things that you could see there while we were in Cordova. Uh, this is actually one of the, the biggest mountains that we got there. This is Mount Iek. Yep. And then they had another one that we uh, were all walked around and had a wonderful time. Uh, but the big thing also was the glacier that we went to. Child's Glacier. Child's Glacier. That's right. And uh, just These are actually uh, your photos, correct? That's right. So uh, photos that we took along with some other people that we were there with. And uh, it was just this tremendous view, uh, wonderful weather that we had there. Even when it was raining, it was still beautiful. And, and just to prove that we were there. there we were that's there. Us. That's, that's us. us. That's us. Right. Which one is, is this one? Uh, the one on the right is me. Yeah, that's you, Scott. And the one on the left is... David. That's right. Okay. So what's on the docket for today? Template Q, we're going to work with matching pairs. That's right. Just matching pairs. That's the big feature that we've got for today. So they can grab this template, can't they, from our resources? Yes, they can. At teachingwithsmartboard.com, mm -hmm. go to the resource page, and there's a gallery collection file mm -hmm that they just have to click on, and it goes right into their their own gallery, My Content. That's right. And, and it, this is under one of the teaching templates. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. All right, so matching pairs. We actually have sort of two templates that we have for the price of one. Oh, nice. Which is free. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so the first one here is to match the vocabulary with the appropriate definition. Uh, and this is the actual template that you can pull in, uh, where you plug in different words and their definitions. And then you have students come and match them. Okay, sure. So I noticed that the colors are different mm -hmm. on one than the other. So the students in this one know that the blue goes with uh, the, the black. definition? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's right. And uh, I've got an example here okay. that we can look Let's at. Let's check it out. Uh, this is actually one that you would look at from uh, a social studies classroom. 
looking at the different branches of government, so legislative, executive, and judicial branch, and then the appropriate definition that it goes with. So as you can see, uh, it's very easy then for students to come up to the board then and then match a particular definition that goes with a particular... Right. And, and how, would you, how would you work that in your class? Well, I would work this by, you know, I like to have students randomly select things to work with. Mm -hmm. uh, is that what you yeah, usually yeah. do? Uh, what I usually do is give the students some time mm -hmm. with their partner to think about it and talk about it and then pick, like you said, randomly and then have the student or students come up to the board and move it to the right spot. And then after that, we have them justify why they've matched things together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What if they say they don't want to? <laughs> Well, if they say they, I don't give them a choice yeah. in my classroom, okay. I, I set that up from day one okay. uh, so that students know that this is part of how the classroom runs mm -hmm. uh, and that expectation is there. Um, and I find the students, you know, are excited to actually go up and use the board, um, you know, no matter what the age level, whether it's a, a student in ninth grade or a student in 12th grade. Um, and, and I think that's a very important precedent to set at the beginning of the year. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I agree. Okay. So, so you just put these each with the, its own branch, mm -hmm. right? That's right. And, and uh, as you can see, a student could move the actual word okay. or phrase, or they could move the definition. Um, to and now, Scott, together. what we suggest for our, uh -oh, for our, um, listeners is that they would select all these possibilities right why do we want them to do that so that we can s click locking mm -hmm. and allow to move That's what right. now this will do is i can move it but i can't ever open it yeah or it won't what won't happen is what just happened before that's where right the shape of it changed or mm -hmm. became larger or bigger or something else like that right but let's say i wanted to select all locked notes i can mm -hmm. easily unlock them and work with them that's right that's right so again we want to lock and allow move is a very important feature that we want to work mm -hmm. with sure okay so as we can move on to the next uh example uh -oh. Oh, <laughs> megabyte. yeah that's right actually, megabyte a couple of jokes that we heard while we were up in alaska okay yeah first one megabyte, megabyte. question mark yeah do you want do you know what a megabyte is no what a <laughs> big mosquitoes do. That's, good. That's right. That's right. Excuse me. <laughs> now, was... isn't it sort of the joke that the state bird of Alaska is a mosquito? That's right. That's, That's what right. they say. Yep. Okay. Then there's one other one that we heard from one of the persons that we were there with. What did the Zen master say to the hot dog vendor? I don't know. What did the Zen master? Said, make me one with everything. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was from Chick, was it? No, that Chick. was, uh, I'm trying to think, Jason, I think is the oh, one. Oh, okay, he had it? Okay. I think that's right. Okay. All right. So the other template that we have, uh, again, is match pairs. And this is one that instead of definitions, it could be any number of things that match and pair together. So we, here again, we've got different colors that you can work with. Um, and students can match items that go together. And again, this is in our teaching templates. That yes, it is. You can download from our Q. resources. That's right. Q. That's yeah. right. So I came up with an ex example that we actually saw while we were in Alaska. Ooh, we sort of got quizzed that is this. cool. That's right. So big thing that's there is fishing, as far as the industry is concerned. And everybody in town knows about the different type of fish. And the yeah. big ones are really working with salmon and with halibut mm -hmm. but there's a lot of different types of salmon there sure are yeah we heard are. lots of like um red mm -hmm. silver pink right. uh chum chum king sockeye yeah. sockeye yeah mm -hmm. and this is a halibut and we we learned about the cheek that's is right is that the cheek no there there's is, two cheeks that's Go. right now us in chicago there is one different salmon Used to play for the Bulls, John Salmons. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. No, no, no. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, but again, this is one of feature in terms of matching uh, where students could move the fish yeah. or they can move the actual word to where it belongs. Excellent. Nice job, Scott. Now, a feature, though, that we do talk about is 
um, where a teacher would take and clone this page, which is an important feature to do, to make the key. Yeah, right. Uh, so I don't have the key made here, but you would, as a teacher would come and match things together mm -hmm. and then have the key ready for your students to work with. Okay. Okay. Now, Dave, while we were there, there aren't just different types of fish. There are also different types of bears that were there. Oh, yeah. Right. That's right. So to tie it together with fish, because the salmon spawn and every yeah, summer. They call them brown bears mm -hmm. and black bears. That's now, right. which one's which? I think it's pretty easy to tell. <laughs> now, actually, they call it the brown bear, but uh, they named it the grizzly bear, too. That's right. So I was or the surprised. Kodiak. That's right. Yeah, I was surprised that they didn't call it just grizzly, but they call it brown they bear. They call them brown bears. And which one's bigger? The grizzly. the grizzly. I mean, the brown bear. The brown bear. <laughs> um, and, and interestingly, uh, I came across while I was riding my bike one day is uh, some grizzly poop. That's right. Some brown bear poop. Which they call scat, right? They, that's right. And then uh, we had taken a hike at another day mm -hmm. and uh, found some black bear. Scat. That's scat. Right. That, and then. That was black. That's right. <laughs> I'm sure you guys wanted to and know that. Brown bear's brown. That's right. Yes. And then we also, of course, to make the trifecta, we saw the moose, but not the actual moose. We saw the, the moose droppings poop. of the yeah. moose. That's right. Moose, moose droppings. manure. So. Well, Dave, it's been uh, wonderful. Yes, it has. Uh, the trip that we've had. And, and uh, Scott, I was going to tell you, um, we have the book with all these templates mm -hmm. in printed, actually printed form. Yep. We're going to put a link up on our site That's real right. soon. That's right. So that you guys can get the book. We just dealt with the book with the training here in Alaska, and it worked out real yes, well. Yes, it did. And so we'll put that book on our website as soon as possible and we'll have a whole podcast dedicated to it that's right that's right so again if you want to drop us a line at dave at teaching with smartboard.com or scott at teaching with smartboard.com uh, or give dave a tweet on twitter at d sladke mm -hmm. uh, we want to thank also uh, robin who works with uh, apple she uh, provided us with a couple of pictures from Cordova, too, and this is yes. one of them that she took, actually. That's right. It was out of her window of where she stayed. So, And just... thanks to Keith, the, uh, the tech in instructor there in, in Cordova that yes. helped us out so That's much, right. too. That's right. Okay. Well, thanks. And uh, we'll talk to you later. See you from Alaska. All right. Bye-bye.